name is Anthony. I'm the COO of New West Knifeworks. And I want to introduce you to a recipe that's helping my wife and I get through these crazy times. And that is a no knead bread recipe. And all it takes is four ingredients and a little patience. Let's go over the ingredients. Grab your cocktail or mocktail. What you're going to need is three cups of flour, one three quarter teaspoons of salt, one half teaspoon of rapid fast acting instant yeast, and one and a half cups water. Okay, like any good baking recipe, we added our dry ingredients first, and now I'm just gonna take a fork and make sure that it's evenly mixed throughout the entire bowl. All the dry ingredients are mixed. I actually got a little leftover flour just in case things get a little western. And now what I'm gonna do is pour the water into the mix. hands a little bit and then using my mother's disciplinary tool or a wooden spoon I'm just gonna start mixing it up All right, don't be afraid to use your hands the idea is you don't want to overwork the dough but make sure it has a really good consistency Make sure you're trying to absorb all that flour that's in the bowl. That's really important as well. What you're trying to look for, right? A consistent dough. Doesn't look too beat up. And this is the only time I like to use plastic in the kitchen is when sealing the bowl. And the only thing left to do today is to practice patience. So we're going to leave this dough here for about 12 to 16 hours. Okay team, 16 hours later, we can see that the dough has risen. I have a four quart Dutch oven ready to go, a little olive oil and some flour. So what I did was I lightly coated the Dutch oven with a little olive oil, and now I'm going to preheat the Dutch oven in the oven at 450. The Dutch oven is preheating at 450, and now it's time to kind of take the dough out of the bowl. I've already pre-floured my surface here. I pre-floured the spatula, and then just kind of let gravity do the work. Dutch oven has been preheated, a little oiled, and then, you know, I'm not afraid to use flour. And I just kind of line the Dutch oven a little bit with a little extra flour before I put in the loaf. You can see the loaf is just perfect the way it is. And I just pop it right in. And I'm going to put this back in the oven, covered for 30 minutes at 450. Okay, the bun has been in the oven for a half hour, covered. I'm going to take it out, and then we're going to put it back in for an extra 20 minutes, uncovered. So check it out. The extra 20 minutes are going to give this loaf all its cool color. Okay, 20 minutes of the uncovered bread is over. It should be ready to go. Let's see what we got. All right, check that out. It looks like a beautiful loaf of peasant bread. Speaking of buns in the oven, it's going to turn this around real fast, guys. Get it. And check out my bun in the oven. If this kid's going to Stanford, you need to buy more knives. All right, here's a little finished product video. Ooh, I love hearing the sound of that crust. Inside's moist, fluffy. Just want to say thanks for watching me make some bread, guys. Stay safe. Stay sane out there. Um, let us know if you have any questions.